Hey friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and friends, this is our friend, say hello to Holy Kyle, I like to lie, you know, yes I know it's you, let me give a here today Mr. Taven, yes it is a good day. Hey Holy Cow, I have a question for you, have you ever made a mistake? Me? No way. I is perfect like my daddy and perfect like his daddy. I don't think you know what the word perfect means. I think everyone makes mistakes. In fact, a friend once told me, if you can't make a mistake, you can't make anything. Oh, that makes me perfect then. I like so many mistakes. I like in something. Well, yeah. You're making trouble for me and maybe some others. Uh, do you know what today is? Oh, yes, sir, right. I do. It's Mama's Day. Happy, happy Mama's Day. And to your mama, too. <laughs> well, thank you for saying hi and happy Mother's Day to my mom. Um, uh, uh, she, she's a very good woman, especially after putting up with, uh, she's a really good woman, uh -huh, especially after putting up with you all these years. Hey, she is a great lady. Uh, do you think my parents ever made a mistake? Well, your brother said that he's perfect like his daddy, and, and your daddy was perfect like his daddy, so uh, I guess your daddy never made a mistake. Holy cow, don't believe everything that you hear. And, and parents sometimes do make mistakes. But the good news is, as parents, we can be forgiven of the mistakes that we have made. Uh, parents realize that their parents made mistakes, but they still love their parents, so they want to keep loving their kids and doing their best. Well, Jesus is not, and Daddy never made a mistake. Well, I think that's a bet you better be prepared to lose. No. Yes, because when Jesus was 12 years old, his parents took him to the temple. And when they went to leave and they headed out home, it was a three-day trip. Three days? They would have been hard because they didn't have a cheeky filet and they didn't have a Walmart or a 7-Eleven. Huh, yeah, well, three days. Mary thought Jesus was with Joseph and Joseph was with Mary, but Jesus wasn't with any either one of them and they didn't have him for three days. Well, you ain't like left her kiddo at church. Shame on them. Jesus must have been scared and hungry. Well, Jesus wasn't afraid and he wasn't hungry because he was doing his father's business. He even forgave his earthly parents for forgetting him. And just like our parents make mistakes, we need to be willing to forgive them because they are willing to forgive us. Well, at least your kids, that reminds me of a terror verse. You do? Uh -huh. He says in Proverbs 31, 29, of all the women in the world, you're the best. Well, that's very true, holy cow. And I think of that, of my mama, I think she's a, a very good woman. Hey, you're not an error in Darius, you and Tuglick. Yeah, well, a time or two. Because like after church or sometimes we'd get to go out to eat at a restaurant. And after we got done eating, my mama would take a, a napkin and either spit on it or get it wet in a glass of water and wash my face. Oh, you's lucky. My mama just gave me a cow lick. You may not get that. But you understand, don't you? I think I might have had that in my hair. Oh, you hanging around cows back then. No. Well, hey, holy cow, it's time for you to do us all a favor and say goodbye, holy cow. Goodbye, holy cow, and take care and uh, hug your mama today if you can. And if you don't, may a cow lick your nose. Bye-bye. That was different. Bye-bye.